Hi, my name is John Storms, and I'm the proud over, owner of a Motorola Zoom tablet. Uh, way better than the iPad. Why? Because this is powered by NVIDIA Tegra 2, which gives you a lot more video processing power. So, demonstrate it. What uh, we're going to do here is we're going to hook it up to a high-def TV. Now, I don't have a high-def movie, so it's not the best example, but what, uh, what we can tell you is I have an extensive library of movies that I've purchased. I don't like kids handling the movies and scratching them up, so I ripped them all to, uh, to hard drive using DVD Shrink. And now what I can do is using Bada Boom 2.0, I can then take those VOB files, convert them to MP4 files that will play on my Zoom tablet. That way, we're on vacation, we can take the tablet, hook it up to a TV in a hotel room or a family house and watch home movies, movies, and have a great time. So, we're going to go set that up, so let me show you how it works. So, what I have here is an HDMI cable from Best Buy. Now, to make sure you see, this is the typical HDMI connector that you're used to seeing. But you have to get a special cable to get this HDMI connector on the other side. It almost looks like a mini USB connector, but it's not. It's HDMI. It's just smaller. Now, where this goes, is you take your Motorola Zoom with the NVIDIA Tegra device in it. This is your mini USB. This is your HDMI, this is your power. So this guy goes right there, like that. Okay, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Now, what I did today is I took my Cars movie on my laptop, loaded up Bada Boom, and converted it to an MP4. Now with a CUDA enabled laptop, or desktop with a GeForce GPU or something like that. And this is the CUDA t-shirt. It runs much faster. You get that nice encoding. Okay, so now I have the HDMI cable hooked up to the computer. This is my Zoom tablet. And voila, there is my Zoom desktop. You want to drive your kids nuts? Watch this. You can Play. Angry Birds. Huge size. Let's turn it in. Of course, you can hear that the volume is also coming across the uh, HDMI connection. See that? You can pull up Angry Birds. Now, I'm ranked number 48 in Texas, but we're not going to try too hard here. Check that out. Pretty good. You're making a walkthrough video. This is a great way to do it. Okay. We're not here to show you Angry Birds. What we want to show you is a movie. So, like I told you before, we ripped cars from disc. Using DVD shrink, using Bada Boom, we converted it to a MP4 file. And we have copied it over to our... Uh, Zoom tablet with just a regular USB connection, no software needed. Just plug it in and copy it like you would to a USB drive. By the way, that's my wife and myself. And here it is. Cars. Now this isn't high def, but it doesn't take up a lot of space either. Look at that. That's not a bad resolution. Let's connect. Oops. Man, I hate it when there's something. The timeline has changed forever. All right. Not too shabby. Now, one thing I like about the Zoom's uh, video playback is if you're fast forwarding or, or reversing, I gotta get out of here. watch this. Hey, just grab this. Sure? See how quick that is? No delay. That's the NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor helping you. Just take this and. Slide it over, bang, you're at the next part of the movie. Next part of the movie. No skipping, no jumping, no delay. Just zips right across. got the horsepower. So what do you want to do? Now also, just to show you, we also did um, family vacation here. 
This is a uh, one that I converted over for the uh, uh, iPhone. So if you had videos previously converted over from iPhone, I actually pulled this off my old iPhone, put it onto my computer, put it onto my Zoom. Works fine. See that? And you just saw the whole vacation movie. All right. So in a nutshell, it works. HDMI out. You can see everything you can see. Oh, there's one other cool thing I want to show you. One thing I really like about the Zoom is the fact that it's running the Android operating system. And look at this. This is a shell command line. So I can sit here and give it Unix commands and it'll list them out. Now the resolution's a little bit off. I could tune this up a little bit better so it could be seen better. Let's see, does it know Netstat? It does. See? Check it out. You got Unix Pro. You can get under the covers. A lot of my Apple friends was like, oh, you got BSDI, you know, you can get in there and do the Unix under the cover stuff. Well, the Zoom, you have Android 3.0, way better than BSD, and you can get at the Unix prompt as well. And the best part is, is that your movie content, your music content is not controlled by iTunes. You can just do the simple file copy. Anyway, it all works.